Hi guys, welcome back. It's Bry at JukeBlaster.com. So what I've got for you today is a new tool. Um, basically it does what it says on the tin, media cover downloader. It'll scrape the web and give you a choice of pictures here that you can choose for your files. So let's give it a quick whirl. Let's open, I've got a couple here, a couple of files I've got. I've got a movie and I've got an audio track, so let's just open those. Initially this was just going to be for movies, but I got a little carried away. And what I've done, I've incorporated the audio tracks as well. So, And it's as simple as picking the, um, the cover that you like. Uh, let's pick... Ooh, that's a good one. Let's pick that. And what that's done now, it's it's, um, it's put that image into your track, into the movie. Same for audio tracks. And you'll notice, because this is an audio track, the images are square. Whereas before, they were oblong for the movie tracks. So again, just click, let's click this Bowie one. And that's tagged that um, media file. Simple as that, guys. Another cool feature is this file fixer tool, and I'll show you what that does. Uh, let's open a file. Now if you've got a file with a, a good file name like that, Alien vs Predator Requiem, that's fine. But let's say for instance you've got an undesirable word in there, let's put DVD RIP. You've got an undesirable word in the, ti in the file name. Um, let's load that up and see what it does and you'll notice the file name now ha has been edited to remove that undesirable word. It's removed DVD rip and it's done that on the fly uh, so that that file is now renamed and what you can do you can set you can set your own words that you want to remove and other other uh, undesirable symbols that you'd like removing and it's a, it's a cool handy tool, uh, does it on the fly, um, save you a lot of time. <laughs> Another one is Auto Guess and what this does, it tries to guess which one of these images um, is most appropriate. It kind of automates the task if you've got hundreds of files and you don't have time to sit and pick the best one then what it'll do it'll have a guess based on the file name of each of these images it'll score the uh, file names for keywords and try to pick the best one it's not very accurate it's about 60% um, but it's better than nothing if you don't have the time to pick so I'll show you how it works let's open those files again with the auto guess turned on. Let's just open them up again now. And you'll notice after it's downloaded, it's now thinking which is the best one, and it'll pick one shortly. Uh, any minute now. It's got a pick one. There, it's picked one, and it's moving on to the next. It's now doing the same thing for the Bowie track. Um, there it's picked it's picked another one <coughs> so it's handy if you want to automate the task but to get the best results you should pick them by hand yourself and it's a bit of fun as well uh, just another couple of tips um, don't use this tool on a remote drive don't use it on a NAS drive or a USB drive or stick because it'll probably screw your file up because they're not fast enough and I found <laughs> out that to my expense this weekend um, I pushed a couple of files um, on my NAS drive so don't use it on remote drives always use it on your C drive um, where your media files are <coughs> uh, another thing just remember that these images that you're downloading may be copyrighted so just be aware of that. Uh, okay, so I'm going to put this uh, cool little tool now 
uh, in our members only section of dukeblaster.com and maybe next week I'll get our Steve to put this on uh, our website for anyone to download so uh, thanks for watching guys